Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I am going to be sharing with you guys a little unbagging of the Sephora Favorites Hello Bag. Also, if you guys are new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe and hit that like button. It helps me a ton. I got this bag from Sephora and I am also a Sephora employee, so all of these thoughts and views are my own. I did a previous video with Sephora's President's Day sale with some items that I got, so check that out if you guys missed that. But I got this bag in that video and I was waiting to unbox it, so today we're gonna see everything that's inside. These bags are reusable, so if you want to keep them and put stuff in it, it does reseal. These bags are nice because if you really like the products, you end up getting a 15% off coupon for the full size if you like the trial sizes, and it gives you 20% off of all Sephora collection brow products. And then these offers for this particular bag expire the end of July, so you have some time to use them and try out the products. This bag contains six minis to try out. The first product that we've got is the Alien Park perfume from Moogler. Muggler? I don't know how to say the name. Sorry guys. This is what it looks like and it is purple. Okay, that's a little disappointing. It literally sounds like there's maybe a drop in it. Oh, that actually smells kind of good. I'm actually liking it. That's a little bit of a surprise. It kind of smells like lilies to me. It's nice. I'm glad that it's not super sweet. It definitely smells more like floral, but I like that it's not a rose floral. I don't really like the rose scented one because I feel like a lot of them kind of have that like old lady smell, if you guys know what I mean, but this is nice. I do wish that it showed like the fragrance notes on here so I can know what's in it. The next product we've got in here is by Supergoop and this is their Glow Sunscreen SPF 40. I actually already have one of these open and I really do like it. This is the one that I have, a larger tube. They're full size. This is what the product looks like. So it is slightly tinted, but it's got some shimmer to it. So it's gonna give you a glow, a strong glow. <laughs> if you like that, honestly, I feel like one of my favorite products from Supergoop is their mineral matte one. And I like that just cause I am oily and I do personally prefer more mineral based SPFs, but it is a very nice one. So I'm glad to have the little mini. This will be nice like to throw in my bag for travel size and it is SPF 40. So you're supposed to reapply it every 40 minutes. It says on the back, it also doubles as a highlighter wherever you want an extra little dose of sunshine. The next product we've got in here is by Sephora Collection and this is their clear brow gel. It's a little mini. I do have a bunch of brow gels open currently, so I am gonna keep this one closed, but I'm sure it is great. It does say on here that it sets and locks eyebrows. It's a lightweight formula. It's long lasting and it looks like it has a nice brush. I will try this out soon and update you guys. I just wanna kind of finish the one I have open. Well, I've got a few open. That's always how it is. <laughs> Next product we've got is by Anastasia Beverly Hills. This is in the shade medium brown, which I'm glad because that's actually my perfect shade. This is their Brow Wiz and it's the skinny brow pencil. So this is what it looks like. Oop, wow. So literally guys, I was not expecting that. This is how small the little holder area is. These things are quite long. I wasn't expecting the cap to the spoolie to be so big. This is what the brow pencil looks like and we'll do a quick swatch. It actually swatches really nice. I'm actually surprised because I feel like a lot of new brow pencils, especially with Anastasia, they have like this white coating on them and not even just Anastasia, like every brand. Oh no. <gasps> Guys, that's literally all the products you get. You get like a like a quarter of an inch. Oh, that's so sad. That's such a waste of packaging. I wish they gave us more. That's sad. That's gonna last me like two days. I feel like I have no eyebrows, guys. So I go through pencils so quickly. All right, so that is the Brow Wiz. The next product we've got is by Way. I hope I'm saying this brand name right. I always mess it up. But this is their Detox Shampoo. I actually have a full size that I haven't got to try yet. Maybe I'll start with this one. 
one or I'll just keep it for traveling. But I've heard really good things about it and I know that it's always good to occasionally try to detox your scalp. It says on here, this concentrated shampoo with apple cider vinegar will deeply cleanse away dirt, oil, and impurities. I don't know that I would use this as like an everyday shampoo. I would maybe use this like once a week or once every other week, but it sounds really good. And then the last product we've got is by First Aid Beauty, and this is their KP Bump Eraser Body Scrub with 10% HA, safe for sensitive skin. I have used this before and I do really like it. It is a great product. So this is what the product looks like. It does work guys. Like I have had bumps on my skin. If you are using this consistently, I would not recommend using it every single day. It says on here, use once or twice a week as tolerated because it is a like scrub scrub. It scrubs. Be careful with using this. Do not overuse it. Also because it has AHAs in it. Acids, you want to make sure wherever you're using this, even if you're not even using this you should be applying sunscreen SPF so make sure you're wearing it especially if you're using this because this will make you more sensitive to sunlight all right guys so these are all of the six products that I got in this hello Sephora bag for Sephora's favorites let me know what you guys thought down below and have you guys tried any of these products I have tried a few and I do really like them and I also have some that are new to me that I can't wait to try but overall I think it was a very good bag like I said I did get it for eight dollars so a little over a dollar per item it did say it was a 28 dollar value i mean i thought it was worth a little bit more maybe but i'm happy with the brands and happy with the products so what do you guys think of these bags have you guys purchased the hello favorite bags before let me know your experience if you guys have and thank you guys so much for watching if you guys haven't make sure to subscribe hit that like button and turn your post notification bell on so you guys are updated every time i post a new video love you guys bye Bye.